Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to me, myself, and I playing The Binding of Isaac after birth dailies. Uh, my voice is a bit croaky. Um, I apologise, but I have just been to a oh, fucking hell. Good start, good start. I have just been to a gig, so I can't hear a fucking thing, and I can't really speak. So I thought, what time could be better to do a game where you have to speak for several minutes? And... Ooh, that's nice. Ugh. And concentrate, and be able to hear things, and be able to think, and basically, this should be fun! Hooray! We've already taken damage. <laughs> Burning basement walked into a fire. Kinda should have probably seen it coming. Maybe. Who knows. We've picked up Evil Eye, which will occasionally send an Evil Eye shot across the screen, which travels more slowly than normal shots, but itself shoots shots until it hits something, and then it perishes. Let's try not to um, drift into fires. This is not Need for Speed Porsche 2K. This is The Binding of Isaac. So we will endeavour not to fuck it up too much. Uh, where are we going? We're going to Mom's Heart again, and it's an Eve run, which we have done before. As we all know, the goal here is simply to not die. Ragman again. Look. Every fucking day, we do this son of a bitch, and we have to shoot his head before it turns into a spider, but we don't have enough H. We don't have enough damage to do that. So we have to kill the spider, but whilst we're doing that, Ragman is not dying and producing more spiders. And the spider's jumping across the screen at us, and then Ragman does that thing, so we have to try and dodge out the way of an impossible to dodge homing shot. I did see a tinted rock earlier on. Um, yeah, fuck you with your fucking super Nashram power bullshit. Whoa! Look at that. That's uh, that's the power of heavy metal right there. I'm instilled with the confidence of... Ooh. Ooh, light. Do something. Yes. Do something. Yes. Fucking look at all these eye shots suddenly. Ah, yeah, they've gone. You know, you go to one metal gig and all of a sudden, you're kicking it old school. You're knocking it out of the park. Ah. Uh, whoa! Jesus Christ. You see that shit? Again with this. Oh, well, now we're the Horror of Babylon, so I guess we're doing a bit more damage now. Um, and we're moving a bit faster, which is something it's very difficult to get used to. It doesn't matter too much that we took Red Heart damage here, except that I wish I hadn't taken damage, if you see what I mean. Taking damage is a bad thing, because it hurts. Right? Makes sense? Go, dead bird. Yes. But I guess uh, this is a very decent pickup to start off with. Dead bird is helping. I'd like to get a bomb to pop into this Tinted Rock up here at the top. See if there's a spirit heart in it. If there's a spirit heart in it, we can... Um, oh, there's another one here. So, either of these, I guess. We can... Uh, no, alas. We can be a bit more comfortable with our deal with the devil on the next, next floor, is what I'm saying. Um, having that red heart protection on this floor wasn't important, because there's no deal with the devil. Next floor, quite important not to get hit. But, again, Horror Babylon... Um, I was kind of hoping to get to it in a slightly more constructive way vis a -vis going to the curse room, which we were unable to do, unfortunately, but I guess I'm kind of glad that we didn't go to the curse room and didn't die. Because if we're going to take two hits, see what I mean? Then... Game over, man. That fucking son of a bitch. They boxed me in. They boxed me in. There was nothing I could do. What a disappointing score. Do you know what? Do you know what? I'm gonna go to this file and do a run. I'm trying to be Mega Satan. We haven't done Hush with Kane. I'm gonna do a Kane run. I'm just gonna do a Kane run straight up. What's this? Hagalaz. If there had been a Hagalaz in the curse room on the daily, that would have been great. Never know. Please. <laughs> Please. No. Okay, good. So, I have decided that the daily was a wash. It happens with Eve runs. Um, it's so easy to get hit for a full heart when you're in Horror Babylon. Note that we didn't get the opportunity to get either of the Tinted Drops. We had to fight Ragman, which is bullshit to begin with. Uh, we got boxed in by a champion, so we had to take full heart damage from that. We couldn't go to the curse room. It was a very difficult run, so I wouldn't be surprised if many people failed at that hurdle. Never mind. Let's talk about this run. Kane on... 
<laughs> Kane on this file starts with, uh, yeah, Dr. Fetus. Uh, the, the paper clip. The paper clip allows us to open golden chests. If we can get that far without dying like idiots. I took Dr. Fetus because it's early in the game. Dr. Fetus is one of those. I don't know whether to take it half the time. I think most of the time, no, because it sucks. It's hard to deal with. But, fuck it. I think this is just a fuck it day. I'm playing, I'm here, I'm alive, I'm doing stuff. Oh. Kane, okay, we're trying to get to Hush, so we need to go speedy. Can I beat Hush as Kane with Dr. Fetus? Did I think this through? No. But, at the same time, do I give a shit? No. Man. Trying to get these to land in the right place, that is probably the hardest part of all. Especially when the uh, enemies keep disappearing from where they're supposed to be. No Ragman, for fuck's sake. Bloody Penny probably doesn't really do too much for us. Uh, as when I said no Ragman, I didn't mean something even fucking worse than Ragman, you son of a bitch. Actually, okay. We did fine. Uh, I know we need to hurry to hush, but it's quite a long way off. We have plenty of opportunity. Uh, Gluttony, you're not helping when you're over there. No. Plenty of opportunity later to make up time, but we should try and give ourselves mm, a, a, a decent amount of impetus at the start of the game. I think it's worth... I haven't found a single tinted rock on this high, entire floor either. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, but it was very loud in the gig. Oh, what a wash. I'm a bit salty about the daily. I feel like I could have played better, not got hit so much. Which is always true, I suppose. I could have, but I didn't. Oh, bad fucking trip. Brilliant. Uh, but the it didn't really give me the protection that I needed as Eve. Eve is a very difficult character not to get hit with early on. Because... Until you turn yourself into the Horror Babylon, you know, you have to somehow deal with the fact that you're doing shit damage. I mean, Ragman was taking 20 freaking years. Oh. <laughs> Why couldn't I make dodges like that when it's important, eh? In fact, I did do a dodge like that on the Ragman fight. Uh, don't really want Key Beggar. 13 cents. I mean, I don't want to blow up the donation machine, which, to be honest, is not something we've seen very much of. Because I've only been doing the dailies. Uh, why have I only been doing the dailies? Basically, I wanted the main series of Isaac to be a collaborative thing. The you and I branding, as it were. To be me and Pete running through the all the unlocks of the game. You know, going from nothing to everything. Oh, shit. Uh, but, as I have mentioned several times in the past, Pete is a jeb end and doesn't play. So we haven't done any runs at all really that have anything but daily mechanics. Which means we haven't talked about the donation machine. The donation machine is currently at 800 and something cents because on this save file I have got it to 999 cents and unlocked. I think it was the, uh, the hourglass? Oh this is seller 2 and I took red heart damage. Really dumb. I am wondering since there is a bunch of HP on this floor, whether I should do this. If I can do this early on... Alright. I think we've seen that before on the dailies, whereby if you do it enough, you end up spawning an angel statue, and the angel statue, if you successfully kill it... Ah, I'm not going to do it. If you successfully kill the angel statue, you get the key piece that you would normally get from killing the angel statue in the angel rooms, which replace the devil rooms. However, if you do it with this uh, self-sacrifice room instead, you can take deals with the devil. Why did you do this in the first place? We did get a deal with the devil, even though we took red heart damage. Pretty fly is fine. I suppose we should take it. I don't really want to. And we'll go and get that eternal heart and get the HP back. Yeah, good. Uh, if we... We want to do Mega Satan. That's the other thing. If you have a look at the postcard here, the two gaps are Hush and Mega Satan. 
So, that's what we want to be doing. Posting Mega Satan. Oh, shit. No. Fuck! Why did I do another room? That was just dumb. I lost my eternal heart. Can I have another one? No. Open this thing. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff! Did I drop a... I did drop a bomb. <laughs> we'll take more options, which will give us... Uh, is there HP in here? No. I'll take the card. Two diamonds. Okay. <laughs> well, that would have been good to take first, I guess. Who will? Mega Stan. Hush. Five minutes. Two of diamonds. Paperclip. Other words. We know speak good. Me and my shadow. I'm my shadow. Uh, what does it do? When you get hit, it spawns one of those silkworms that's black. And it attacks things for you, so it's pretty shit. But I think I'm going to try the self-sacrifice room shen oh, fuck me. <laughs> shenanigans. In order to get to Mega Satan. If we don't do Mega Satan, remember I'm on this run for... Hush. Not on Mega Satan. So Mega Satan is sort of a bonus. So maybe I shouldn't have wasted that HP previously? Uh, I guess we take this. I don't know where the Tech 2 does anything for us. There's Empress. Uh, probably not too much worth it. I don't know where the Tech 2 does anything when you've got bombs instead of tears. Maybe it does. We didn't have a spacebar item and this one can give us spirit hearts. That's very important right now because uh, we're fucked. <laughs> help, help, help. Help, help, help. Help, help, help. Uh, I think we did quite well there, actually. If I do say so myself. Maybe we should uh, investigate the mob trap room? I think so. It could have something decent in it. Uh, what's decent? Don't know. Probably not that. There is a shop. We should do the shop. We should make our way to the shop. We have infinite bombs because we're shooting them out of our face. So, you know, not going to the shop is is possibly not a good strategy. So we should do it. We should do the good strategy, not the bad strategy. I think that's how strategy works. I'm not really a strategist. Could be wrong. Uh, oh, that's pretty nice. Uh, another empty room. I'm a fan of it. So the, uh, the thingy that I didn't talk about the donation machine. If you blow it up, it gives you coins. But you lose more coins out of the donation machine, out of the total, than you get on the ground when you explode it. So, it's sort of a... it's a cache of... cash? <laughs> it's a cash cash. I like that. Maybe I should have used the two of diamonds before buying something? Maybe I should. It's a cash cash. So we can use it in the future, or on this run if we want to, to buy stuff that we couldn't otherwise afford. It doesn't show up on a daily run, because obviously the more that you have in it, kind of the more likely you are to be able to scum up the run by just blowing it up and getting stuff. Uh, two twos of diamonds is, is worth keeping one of and using the other of. Just explode. Explode. How are you not dead? How are you not dead? 15 cents could get us something else from the shop, but I don't think I need anything. That is our super secret room. Often near the, uh, how do we deal with this? Like that. <laughs> Often near the, the boss, but not necessarily. Bob's brain. This is an explosion-centric run, I think. No money from that thing, either. Alas. Whee! It's, uh, it's like air hockey. If that's like air hockey, then what the fuck is wrong with me, I guess? That was very lucky that I got that bomb in his face just before he charged me too far. Man. Epic Fetus, Dr. Fetus, not Epic Fetus, really helps against uh, Big Chad there. Down to the next floor. So this is a sort of a bonus day. <laughs> I'm kind of half tempted not to even upload it because I'm kind of tired and I can't be asked <laughs> doing the run. But I'm also kind of tempted to actually upload it, so we'll see how it goes. 
I, I suspect I've got a good chance of winning this run, because I'm not dead yet. I fucked up the first of the two, as you probably recall, because I recorded it and showed you. I was not sure whether that was going to hit me or not. Oh, it's going to be the fucking champion fucking Megamore, isn't it? I have to get this shit out of my face right now. How do you even dodge this shit? More by luck than judgement, apparently. Whew. I think most of that was the fact that we had a Cuba meat saving us. Another spirit heart. I like the another spirit heart. Thank you for the another spirit heart. I don't think you can actually kill those at all, to be fair. Easy room. Nice and uh, breeze. A breeze through. Many things explode with one bomb. Which is nice, because it means you don't have to hit them quite as many times as you would if they didn't. Which is kind of obvious thing to say, but what I mean is you don't have to aim too many times, which is a pretty difficult thing to do in order to actually you know, get them dead. Especially when they're very mobile like this, actually getting the bomb in the right places. You know, it's not, a, it's not an easy task. Let's... Good. We'll use this. We get full map and a bad trip. And the item room's right down there. Ooh. What a trek. Tum -tum -tum. Whoa. Uh, there's a secret room here. Definitely worth going to. Did nearly explode myself. That's fine, though. Another one, which gives us two of spades. We'll use the two of spades and keep the two of diamonds. The more coins we have, I think the better. I think more coins is better than more keys, especially since golden chests are free. So we only need half as many, uh, approximately half. We need many fewer keys than we would normally. Jesus Christ, what is this? Than we normally would. And another one it gives us a spirit hut. Thank you for the spirit hut. Indirectly, the curse room gave us a spirit hut, so indirectly, it paid for itself. Uh, you didn't die. That's fine. Still didn't die. Hmm. What a pest. Let's move on. What can we expect our item to be that is even remotely useful to us? Wow. Oh, I've got the fucking... I didn't mean to pick up Petrified Poop. Although, that's a lot of coins. So I guess it's pretty good. But I suppose we do need the keys now because <laughs> I forgot... I didn't mean to take it, uh, but I have taken it, and so I will roll with it, I suppose. A quarter or some bombs. I don't really think we need bombs, because of how, as aforementioned, and I will reiterate, we are shooting them from our face. Our vibrating face. Man. Most of the people would be very appreciative of that. Two of diamonds, two of hearts, doesn't really help. Keep two of diamonds, we'll use it. We'll buy this. We'll buy... This. Judgment. It's demon judgment. We've got two of hearts out here, we'll use it. Two of hearts. Demon judgment payout. Nope, we'll buy this. Demon judgment payout. Nope, uh... Fuck you guy. Ah, good, one more. I did give it half of a... I could have just used this. Dumbass. Gave it half a black heart. Because uh, I felt like I should. And I'm glad that I did. But also I'm a bit... It was a foolish move because I didn't need to. But uh, I don't feel too bad about having done so. So It is what it is. We got the virus. The virus is poison touch. But more than that, it contributes to the spun transformation. <coughs> Excuse me, moi. Uh, which is a damage upgrade, which now I think about it, I guess it might help. Um, our bombs are not as powerful as... I think they're weaker than normal bombs. Oh, there we go. Spun, I think. Oh no, one more. I thought we'd picked up a syringe, but that was the daily, which was a wash, which we've talked about. I'm going to go over it again. Oh my god, that fucking daily. Am I right? The devil. The devil's a damage upgrade. Oh, I walked into the... I mean, we could just clear a room by wasting a black card. I mean, it works, but it's not ideal, I suppose. Oh, these things, though. Come on. Where you at? Land. Good. 
Uh, it only took a bit of stupid damage. Some bomb synergies would be cool. Because we have bombs, I guess, is the main reasoning there. But then again, some of them could be very disastrous. Uh, scatter bombs could really do a number on us. As could that one that makes all your bombs explode into a big fire. The, the Mega Man that isn't Mega Man. You know what I mean. We've all seen it. And these things are even worse. When, uh... <laughs> oh, fuck you. I want this card. Oh, there's fucking stars. Leaf. <laughs> Mulligan. Take it. That was pretty good. I like the mulligan. Mulligan is sort of a poor man's guppy. Nah. Again, when you've got epic fetus. Doctor fetus. When you've got doctor fetus, everything's a wash. Right, well. Ooh. Oh. I wanna. I want. I wanna. Let me in. <laughs> this is bad. I don't want that. Get out. Move out of the way. Step aside. Oh, Jesus. Why did that take Dr. Fucking Fetus? Leave. Everything gets feared when we hit when something hits us, which is kinda nice, but I'd rather not die. <laughs> Can we beat Mega Satan like this? Ah, uh, how about fucking no? I'm just in it to win it. I just wanna as long as we get through this run, I'll be happy, I think. Epic Fetus is one of those ones which seems like a good idea on paper and then you take it and you're like, why did I? Why did I sign myself up for this BS? Gotcha. I got you. Yeah, fucking dick. These are the sorts of enemies that are kind of well countered by bombs because they, they hit the bomb and walk into it and get stuck. Okay, we'll take this. Probably not worth trying our luck with that pill. Brownie. Uh, okay, there was a rainbow poop there. Help. Fuck. Shit. These sons of a bitches and those things go off as well. Whew. Gotta get the bombs in, but I can't get too close because it's gonna hurt. We're done. We did get a deal with the devil because we didn't take any red heart damage, obviously. Uh, I will definitely take Curve Torn for the damage upgrade. The Moon card is an option. There's no items in here. Nothing of any value except for nine lives. Nine lives, great. And we'll leave. And we'll take this pill and its pheromones. I kind of want to visit that library. Let's go to the secret room. It's three cents. Not a huge payout, but not terrible. It's not like it was a bunch of troll bombs or anything. Pretty sure it can happen. Where are these things? There they are. More? Oh, yeah. The Emperor. Well, that takes us to a boss of our choice, I suppose. Provided we keep hold of it. I'm trying to get these bombs in there without the mask sort of seeing me and aggroing. Plenty of spirit hearts, that's pretty good. Why am I going this way? Stop it. Although there's explodable poop that could give us spirit hearts, so. May not be the worst thing in the world, we did get a dime out of it, so I'm going to pretend I knew that was going to happen and did it on purpose. That's actually a dime from a poop without petrified poop, which is improves the luck you get from blowing up, well, from, from breaking poops. That was a good bomb. This is a bad place to be. We're okay. Still a bad place to be though. Let's move on. Let's find out what's in this library. Hmm. I have to imagine this is better than the other thing. It's, it's nice to have the mapping that you get from the uh, the crystal ball there. But it's also nice to have slightly more guaranteed HP. Ah, we'll open it. It's a bomb and a red HP. That's not very good. The satanic bible here guarantees us one red heart. Uh, black heart, in fact. Sun... We haven't done this room. We've done this room. What's happening? Where's the boss? <laughs> God help. That fucking thing just died on that. Suicide pact or something. 
Oi! Oh, the... Oh, no thank you. What was I saying? Something about... Satanic Bible guarantees there's a black heart every six rooms. Uh, which means we can get hit twice in that amount of time. Or... Do I really need that key, that coin now? No, I do not. But this can give us spirit hearts, which is happening. Uh, on the womb and beyond, of course, we can only get hit once every six rooms rather than twice because the damage we take will be full hearts at that point, unless we get something that mitigates that. Lovers really doesn't help. We'll keep the Emperor card. Uh, it will help us skip an entire floor if we feel that is necessary. The moon. I feel asleep. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll just use this because we can, I guess. Bit of a shit secret room, so I'm glad I didn't spend the bomb. Oh, wait. It would have been free. That's there, that's there, that's there. And that's also going to explode. Thank you. We'll get rid of the fire because I can't be trusted. And there's nothing here. Uh, take our Emperor card back. Thank you very much. And we'll move on and try and get some more HP under our belt, I suppose. Ah, uh, help. This is a bullshit room. Uh, not in the true sense of bullshit where I'm guaranteed to take damage, blah, blah, blah. But I dislike it because you have to time the bomb so perfectly because those things don't show up for long enough to get hit. This room, on the other hand, is amazing with bombs because you don't have to shoot the fuckers from behind. So swings and roundabouts with your, uh, with your Dr. Fetus play here. You are also dead. Thank you. There's our black heart. There's a key in this room, but we can probably be coming back for it. This room, though, is... Oh, I did it! <laughs> really, really hard. But I succeeded, which makes me feel better and slightly smug. Good. <laughs> I mean, E. coli might be good. We do have one touch item, but I'm going to take Celtic Cross. I think basically Celtic Cross just gives us a shitload of... Oh, fuck, it's a reroll. I'm in. Conjoined. That means we've picked up a lot of baby items. We seem to have... Yeah, okay. We have... Uh... Oh, what the hell? Monstro's Lung, which is one of the things we got from the reroll on the other daily we got the other day. We have... Three familiars. One of which is probably one of the best familiars in the game, which is... Uh... The, the Rotten Baby, there. Rotten Baby does a thing where it produces flies. And the flyers hit things, and then those things die. Because it hurts them. We've been to our item room. We should go to our shop. We've missed Boss Rush, but I wasn't aiming at Boss Rush. I'm aiming at Hush. We've lost... Um... We've lost the Satanic Bible, so we've lost our guaranteed HP. But we've picked up... A, I don't even know what the conjoined transformation does. We've got uh, the eye shop that we had from the daily again. What else have we got? Also, where's the last enemy? Hello? Holy shit, look at the size of it! It's a wee little baby enemy! <laughs> oh, delightful. Uh, so, yeah, we've re-rolled. We've got a deal with the devil. We've got a guppy item. Is that guppy? No. We've also got this, which is excellent. More of the void is the better of the things that work like the fame. Or anime. I don't... I know you can pronounce it one way. If I hold down the fire button for three seconds, and then let go, then I get a big circle of black death around me, thus, which can produce spirit hearts when it kills bad guys. Black hearts, in fact. Which means we have a way of producing HP. What do we like? Ways of producing HP. One elephant, two elephant, three elephant, go. Excuse me. Man. Although if it would actually produce said black hearts and make less of a liar out of me, that would be swell. Spirit heart, thank you. We're rolling completely on spirit hearts now, and we do have two guppy items. And one thing you should know about transformations, uh, re-rolls I should say, is that the items that you picked up prior to the re-rolls still count towards the transformations that you can get from those items. I.e. I'm going to take Diplopia. Because I'm crazy. Can't get to Boss Rush, which is a shame. I.e. We got 9 lives, which is a guppy item. 
we still have the credit for getting nine lives, even though we re-rolled. Um, in fact, we still have nine lives, which is weird. I'm not sure whether it's immune to re-rolls or just very lucky. Had we re-rolled out of it, we would still have got the credit for it. That's the important thing. That's a really good more of the void there. Everything died. We've been to this. Yes, we have. We'll go down to the next floor. We've got seven minutes to get to Hush, and I think this reroll is actually a really good one for Hush. What I've been trying to say that I have been failing to talk about all this time is that we also have uh, the Nord Leaf, which is an item that causes you to be invincible as long as you stand still. Oh, invincibility from something. Permanent Polaroid invincibility, maybe. Uh, which is great if you have something that will do damage for you. I also note we have Pupula Duplex, which is causing the wide shots. I think all that does is give you wider shots. Um, like, I don't think it's a damage upgrade or anything. These things, though. Fuck off. Good. What does uh, Diplopia do? Yeah, good question. I probably should have explained that whilst picking it up. If, if we use it on a room with items in it, all those items become duplicated. <laughs> what a time for that to show up, eh? Which means we can take duplicates of some items. Well, uh, any items that show up. For example, if we use it here, we could get two Bob's Brains. Do I, uh, not Bob's Brains, Bob's Rotten Heads. Do I want two Bob's Rotten Heads? No, I don't even want one Bob's Rotten Head. So, uh, nice, nice idea. It's good, good in principle. You know, you're getting the hang of it. But not practical in this specific uh, instance of it. Thank you, Rotten Baby, for killing that... Uh, Doppelganger. Ooh, that's guppy. We're done. We, are, we can now fly. Where's my body, please? Okay, there it is. We can fly. We don't have to worry about spikes or creep. We can go fast. Now, here's the thing. Do I want to do the self-sacrifice room? It's very scary because there is no further HP on this floor, and I don't know how much I have. I think the fact that I don't know how much I have means no, I should not. You'll notice now we're producing a shitload of flies. That's amazing. Can I pick these up? I can pick that one up, but not that one. That means we have full HP and it's all spirit hearts. I know it's all spirit hearts because we didn't have any red hearts when we came down to this floor. Uh, we can open this. I mean, we've got the Emperor cards, so if we need to panic skip the next floor, we can do. I'm thinking maybe... Ooh. Ah, I shouldn't have taken those. That was really stupid. Never mind. We have 12 HP. Which is enough, now I have 11, <laughs> may not be enough anymore, to do one full play of the self-sacrifice room and get the angels to pay out. Fortunately, it would leave us in a bad situation. There's not enough HP left on the table to sort of recover from that. Do I have this? Is that the soul? I think that's the soul. 99 bombs, the soul. Ninety-nine red bombs go by. Fuck you. Balls of steel. Health up. Uh it's kind of okay. I think I will not waste I'm not spend the HP trying like try harding the deal with the devil. Will I? Maybe if if there's one on the next floor, or if there's one on the cathedral, maybe we'll do it. But it would be nice to know how much HP we've got before we you know, make that decision. Flies, do your job. Yeah, uh, I think it would have been a rash decision to try to do that um, self-sacrifice room on that last floor. It possibly would have killed us. Now that's the opposite of what we want. We don't want to die. We want to not die. So we could do it here, if there is one. But we want to do Hush. And Hush takes a lot of HP. Can take a lot of HP anyway. We are guppy, but we don't want to get too close to Hush. 
So we'll be relying on our flies to do damage from a distance. No more rerolls, please. Steven! Steven's a really good damage upgrade. Just it, like in absolute terms. It's just straight up damage, no no downsides or anything. I'm trying to farm up black hearts to sort of justify doing the uh, self sacrifice rumor for this one. Man, these uh, bosses are not lasting any time at all. I feel good about the hush fight, and I actually feel good about the uh, Mega Satan fight as well. But we might not be able to do that. I think if we can, we will. But I'm not going to force it, because this is the hush run, not the Mega Satan run. It could be both, but it has turned out not to be. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Just yes, in every respect, yes. Right. Now we've got Death's Touch. Now we shoot. <laughs> oh, this is gonna go so well. Okay. Let's uh, find the boss. We'll take the spirit out. Find, I said find the boss, not be somewhere completely unrelated to the boss. No? We could just Emperor. Just Emperor. Fuck it! I'm going to the boss. I'm hoping to use. You know. Uh, what's this thing called? Diplopia. On either. Got a minute or so. Either um, the hush lobby where there's those extra item rooms, or on the chest where there's just a shitload of items anyway. Man, nothing is surviving this barrage. Hush will take a while because hush has a fuckload of HP. But otherwise, this was a really good reroll, and I'm glad that I got rid of Doctor Fucking Fetus. Tears down. Tears, Tears down, down is not a huge problem to us right now. Blow this thing up. See what we get. HP. Bothered. Uh, we've got enough keys. We've got enough everything. I'm just going to go. I don't want to spend time and accidentally miss it, you know? So hopefully there's going to be a self-sacrifice room on the cathedral because <laughs> that's our option, basically. Ah, oh, I could do two Tammy's heads. Could be really good. High Priestess. Like, neither of these is too good duplicated. Mom's knife probably just ruins everything. I guess don't want either of those, but we might be able to get a reroll from a um I was just thinking a perthro rune, but I guess there isn't one. Hmm. I'm very tempted to let's fuck it. <laughs> I've done it. That's a two crickets head damage upgrade, which is amazing. I don't want either of those trinkets, because they're not very good. Not as good as the curved horn. The fact that our curved horn did not re-roll is really good. Also, I think we're doing three times as many shots, but it's taking a lot longer to charge up. Which is okay, I suppose. Because when we do hit things, all these flies just charge like a motherfucker. Boom. In your face. Can't tell when I'm charged up, though. Thanks to uh, more of the void, I think. It's it's not showing me the charged up animation. Oh, and the soul versus hush is amazing. Look at this. Unless there's a shot coming directly for us, we can basically just sort of stand there, and it will be um, deflected, which is stupendously good. We have nine lives, so we should. Uh, if we die with <laughs> one life, we will come back with one HP. So. Honestly, if we die, we're fucked. So we should try not to. Uh, I'm glad I, I took the opportunity to do just a bog standard cane run without the daily sort of monkey on my shoulders back. Um, I, I don't have to do things on the hush fight. Well, have I got mom's eye? I seem to have shots shooting backwards as well. Help. Help. Alright. Uh, it is continuum time, so we'll get these uh, shots in here and hope that they're not going to hit me. I mean, I could just sort of let Nord Leaf turn me into an invincible god. <laughs> it may be scumming it up slightly, but kind of who cares? Man, when are we charged up? Should we use the High Priestess? Maybe. I feel like the soul is pushing these continuum shots away from us. It's extremely helpful. Now. 
Bonk. Eh, it is some damage, I suppose. I think one of our tier barrages is more valuable than that, but that's okay. We could be using more of the void to farm up black hearts from these nubs and things that are knocking around. But A, we're not short on HP. In fact, we have 12, so black hearts will only replace spirit hearts at this stage. And B, I don't want to get that close to them. I feel like I'm more likely to lose HP trying to do that than I would gain from having done that. There we go. There we go. Man, the charge time is outrageous. I'm pretty sure that I didn't want to take... What did I say? Triple shot. Triple shot appears to have made our charge time so hugely long. <laughs> I don't know when to actually fire because more of the void is not telling me when it's... Uh, when it's actually charged up. What slowed that down? What do we oh we've got a little gish. Hi little gish. We're safe here and this fight is basically over, so we will just charge up one more shot and we'll kill it with more of the void because I haven't charged up long enough. The D twelve has appeared in the basement. That is an unlock. I'm happy with that. Happy as Larry. Larry, are you happy? Do you know what? I'll come back here and take this because it's a spacebar item and we used it. So we've got huge damage, but because I took triple shot, it takes forever to charge up. Because I took more of the void, I don't know when it's charged up. Great. Right, self-sacrifice room, please. So we can knock both of the awesomes out on this run at the same time. That was close. I nearly just caught a bullet. Literally, I fielded it. Well, we're one shot in the room as long as we can, you know, shoot. As long as we have one shot, rooms are dying in one shot. Since our tears are so outrageously huge, they fill the room. I suppose at least we can guarantee we get a more of the void play. What am I picking up the coins for? This isn't even a daily. Such a hard habit to break. Take all the things, it's points. Nah, man, chill. You're cool. Ain't nobody got time for that. Hmm. We know where the secret rooms are because we bought the blue map. I'm not doing that. Jeez. Lol. Man. At least we're going quick. Most things are dying because of the flies that we've done. That we've done collecting. Did. Ooh. We've got two familiars that are actually uh, firing. Well, okay. One familiar that's producing flies and one that's firing. So we don't actually need to let go of our tears if we don't want to. So many flies that we don't know what to do with them. We should fully explore just on the off chance there is a self-sacrifice room. There's a tinted drop there. Could have the uh, small rock in it, which is a good damage upgrade, so we'll, we'll have a look. Uh, it doesn't. It's got two spirit hearts, which is also valuable because if there is self-sacrifice room, then we're going to need spirit hearts, etc, etc. Uh, spiders. Okie dokie. Probably an Isaac fight in this direction. The tick. Meh. I don't think I need the bonus damage against bosses to make it worth losing the bonus damage against literally everything. We'll fight Isaac. Then we'll go and have a look for the self-sacrifice room. Wow, that is not long enough for a charge. Four. Five. Well, we do get one after five seconds. So there's that. We'll, uh, we'll fly around a little bit, because we can fly, because what the hell? Why wouldn't we be able to fly, huh? Well, it's just such a normal thing to happen when you pick up three parts of your own dead cat. Suddenly you become capable of completely disregarding all laws of thermodynamics. Lots of dimes. I don't know what I've done to deserve this look. Uh, there is no self-sacrifice room on this floor, so fuck you, game. Magician? Don't really want either of these, who cares, right? There's another key, just in case we get a shitload. Like, we did, we did get rid of the lockpick at the very start, by accident. We've not had a problem opening golden chests, so I don't feel too bad. And we got um, a decent payout, I think, from the petrified poop. So, maybe we can get Daz's key. Uh, I probably not want to take the Cursed Eye, because we saw what happened when I took the Cursed Eye last time, but I will take Juicy Sack. Probably don't really care about Locust Horns. 
What's this? Friends till the end. That's uh, three flies, which makes all the difference, I suppose. Ragman, fuck you. Feel good about sitting on Ragman just now because Ragman sat on me before. I think that seems fair. Uh -oh. you, you, you win some, you lose some. You take as good as you get. You give as good as you get. Can't take the heat. Get out of the fire. Frying pan. This charge time is outrageous. And we're not picking up any more chests. I can't help but notice. You didn't even get the opportunity to spawn, so fuck you. Dead. Good. Chest. Wafer. Wafer's fine. It, as it says, it's damage resistance. Ah. Uh, Balls of Steel would be great on a previous floor when we wanted to do the self-sacrifice room, but didn't dare. Game, you're really not helping me do the Mega Satan fight, are you? I would like to. I think we're in a great position to do it with Guppy. I'll take this. Every so often we can just press this button. And we'll be invincible. Oh, we got the Beelzebub transformation. That means some flies will be on our side. We've got Bomber Boy. These are all the uh, bomb transformations I was talking about when we had bombs coming out of our face. Bomb transformations. Bomb synergies. When bombs were coming out of our face. Oop, don't want that. It's the space for so it wouldn't have been the end of the world if I'd taken it. What's this? Wheel of Fortune? That's key. Zodiac. Wow. I did get hit. That happened. I can't charge up a fucking shot. It's not telling me. I think that's the worst thing. Like, if I just saw that I was letting go of the shot too early, I'd be like, yeah, fine, no worries. It's my fault. But I, I can't tell. So the uh, unicorn stump here lets us use invincibility. Ooh, that's actually slightly better. Once every room, but it doesn't do any damage itself. Instead, it's only valuable if you have something that does damage for you, some contact damage of some description. Uh, which maybe we do? I'm not sure. But it's there. I dropped the uh, curved horn because the alternative, the cancer trinket. Uh, I think it literally doubles your rate of fire. Which means we don't have to wait quite so fucking long. Ooh. This will allow us to teleport every time we use our spacebar item. Gives us an opportunity to get to the error. Oh, maybe it doesn't actually. Probably not so great. Well, I think we're done on this floor, and I did explore the entire thing by accident. Looking for this fight. This is over. We're already dead. Uh, you're already, you're already dead. It's dead. Well, we did win, but we didn't get to do Mega Satan, which is a bit of a shame, but... I thought I'd do that little bonus run there, because the daily was a wash, and then the first try at the bonus run was a wash, and then we managed to unlock... The D12, which is, or the D7, one of the two, which is a shit item, but unlock it we did. So, thank you for watching. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully the daily will be not shit. Uh, but until then, wait and see.